how to import products from Trudel to Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and upload or import the products from Trudel to your Shopify account. It is very easy and very simple and in this one we have two methods. The first method is integrated within Trudel. You are simply going to Trudel.io then you are going to the product users or product picks. Now we have the marketplace or the products that we are going to need in our case and also add to the Shopify store. Go ahead and select any product. As you can see here we have the limited free plan. All the products are locked because they are uh, considered as winning products. So it will let you see here some random products. You can go ahead and set them uh, as winning or as normal products. Let's go ahead and put or click on this automatic retractable luminous uh, here dog walking rope. Here we have the uh, product title, the product description, and here we have the product cost, setting price, and the profit per sale. Now the option right there is to add it to Shopify. To do that, it is very simple. Go ahead right there and scroll down a little bit. With the fulfillment by Trudel, you are going to see here import to Shopify. When you click on it, it will stop you right there and demand from you to upgrade to get the full access. When you keep the free plan, it will not add or make that import to Shopify. But if you click on upgrade now, you are going to choose a plan. Then for these plans, you are going to pay one of them and you will get the full access and add it right there automatically. And also for the fulfillment will be from Trudel or by Trudel. This is the inconvenient right here for Trudel. Now we have some alternatives and this is a second method. As you can see here, we have the AliExpress sourcing. You can go ahead and click on AliExpress and also go ahead right there from AliExpress. You can integrate these products with a AliExpress or a dropshipping or dropshippers app from Shopify. You can go ahead and put this manually, put the title, also, you can go ahead and put the description, the price you have to set it as they have said in Trudel, and you will be good to go. That is the second method, or you can go ahead to an automatic method, which is best find supplier. And from these suppliers, you are going to set a drop CJ drop shipping. Here, when you click on CJ drop shipping, it will let you see here the providers or the source of that product or similar products to this one. Let's say that we are going to put this same product like that or something else. I don't know about that product, but this is just an example to let you see how we can go ahead and bypass that uh, working uh, plan or the upgraded plan. Go to CJ Dropshipping from Trudel. You can see that supplier. And simply, we are going to connect our CJ Dropshipping to our store within a Shopify. To do that, it is very simple. Go ahead to the menu, click on authorization, and then click on Shopify. After you have set that, you are going simply to connect your Shopify store. Here, as you can see, my Shopify store is already connected and authorized. Now, for the fulfillment, don't worry. You can go ahead and make the replacement of Trudel from CJ Dropshipping. Because Trudel guided us to make the uh, supplying from uh, CJ Dropshipping. Go ahead right there, add the store product, like that. And simply you are going to match the products and 
going to add these products. This is a product that I have set before. Here we have the store product and it is connected to a CJ product. The shipping method, it is a CJ packet ordinary. And here we have the amount. And for the action, if you want to add that fulfillment, click on the three dots and we have the CJ fulfillment. This feature is only applied to Shopify. Fulfilled by CJ, inventory managed by CJ. Go ahead to the store right there. I'm going to let you see how you can add the product to our store. It is very simple. Nothing is complicated. Go to find products. You can go ahead and match that product or this particular product from CJ Dropshipping. Let's go ahead and put it right there. Go ahead and add this rope for the dogs. Wait a little bit right there to see it. And here we have everything set up. You can go ahead and add to my product. And also you can go ahead and list it. Go ahead and click on list. Now we are going to simply to modify some of the items like right here, the store section or selection, click on it. I'm going to put here the, to the store. We don't need here eBay. We are going to set it for Shopify. It is loading right there, the details. I'm going to set here, let it work a little bit. And when it finished, we are going to select the store selection. Now here everything is set up, go ahead and select your Shopify store and you can see here the product type, defender, the variant pricing, images, videos, description. When you finish seeing everything here, for example, for the variant pricing and also the video and images, the description, click on a list now. Here we are going to put the price. Let's go ahead and put the price right there for uh, I'm going to put here like that, list it now, and it will take a little moment to list it to your Shopify store. And from then it will be set up as a, the automatic fulfillment. Now we are going to set or wait for the product to be listed and we will be good to go. As you can see, when you go right there to the products, click on it and click simply on the store products and it is a link to our store name, which is Shopify, we have the product added. If you want to see that product, you are going simply to visit your Shopify store. I'm going to visit Shopify and we are going to see if that product has been added or not. Click on products. Here we have the admin dashboard and scroll down into your product until you see it. And here we have it. This is the product and this is the description, the photos, the categories, the vendor and etc. Everything is set right there. If you want to see that product, you can go ahead and view it live on your store. And here we have it. This is the product itself. That was all for today's video. I hope you guys that you have enjoyed the content. I hope to see you soon on the next one.